1989 process multimeter. And one of the first things you're going to notice is you've got four different uh, places to plug in down here. One, the black one's the common. And where you plug in depends on what type of measure, measurement you want to make. We want to measure the resistance of this RTD, so we want to measure ohms. And you can see that ohms is shown right here, so we're going to plug the meter into the common. And we'll plug into ohms here, and I'll go ahead and turn it on to ohms. And we see zero, we're reading in mega ohms, we have an open circuit, is what that means. I touch the leads together. You'll see we have a small contact resistance of 0 0.1 ohms. And we can uh, take that out of the measurement um, by pushing this button, REL delta. Now that's going to take away that 0 0.1 error. So we're not going to count the contact resistance from the leads anymore. All right, we've got a couple other features here. This is just a sound feature, so if you're checking for continuity somewhere, you'd, it'd be straightforward to do. In that case, you might not be interested in the exact reading in ohms, more interested in is the wire good or not good. Okay, so we can give an example of that. Um, I think what I'll do is I'm going to put on my alligator clips here so we can connect to the RTD without having to hold it with fingers. Now like what we said before was that the red wires are connected together and the white wire is on the other side of the resistor. And the resistor is formed by a small piece of platinum wire that's down in the tip of this. And the resistance of that wire changes as temperature changes. So let's go ahead and make some resistance measurements. Now I, I claimed that these wires were hooked together, so we should see very nearly zero ohms resistance. 0.3, that's very low. Now, um, if I connect the red over here to the white wire, and I could connect to either one of these or both of these. I'll just connect to this one. Now what I'm measuring is the resistance in the tip of the RTD plus all the resistance of the wire, but we've subtracted out the contact resistance. We're reading 108.9 to 109 ohms. And if we wanted to, we could go look on a table, and I have one here, and we could say, all right, 109 ohms, that's about 70 Three degrees, and that makes perfect sense. You should always ask yourself whenever you're working on anything, does this make sense? Stop and ask the common sense question, does it make sense? Another thing we'll notice is that if I grab the end of this, after a few seconds, heat that's in my hand transfers through the metal and begins to heat the wire. And you see that the electrical resistance is now increasing. So it looks like it works just fine. Um, the one remaining thing would be to check the calibration of this uh, RTD and we would immerse it in an ice water bath and it should read 100 ohms. What I want to show you is that um, this meter that's measuring the resistance it's, using, it's sending out a test current. It's sending out a small current out the red wire, goes through the uh, RTD, and comes back to the ground. And we could find out how large that test current is by making a voltage measurement right here. So let's just do that. I've got this plugged in, and this also says volts. So now that's volts AC, and it tells us AC. We want volts DC. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook one wire here to the other red wire. So now our grounds should be the same. And I'm just going to come along. I think I'll just touch it on here. We're just going to do this temporary. Okay, so what are we seeing? We're seeing that across that small platinum wire, 
there is a 0 0.024 volt drop. In other words, 24 millivolts. Now we could use Ohm's law to determine what the test current is. The test current is going to be equal to the voltage drop, 24 millivolts, divided by 109.6 ohms. And I think that's going to work out to be just a little bit more than 0.2 milliamps, somewhere right around there. Okay, so that's it. Um, main thing to think about is whenever you're measuring something, you're actually building a circuit. Think about how it works.